Hello guys, what a great day! This is your coach again and today is a very exciting lesson that you really have to know. Alright, so previously we discussed about what communication is and we knew that communication is a process of meaning making, exchanging of information and sharing of ideas and it came from a Latin word Comunicare, which means to share. Communication, guys, is indeed beautiful because it settles conflicts, it will build relationships, it bridges gaps. At the same time, it will make us more productive and it sparks a lot of ideas. However, if we will use it inefficiently, which can cause quarrels, conflict, chaos, and worst of all, war, okay? As an effective communicator, you should prevent those dreadful situations from happening. Hence, there is a need for you to learn ethical considerations in communication. Okay? Now, ethical is actually conforming to the accepted standards of conduct, meaning to say it has to have a moral approval. The word ethical is socially constructed, meaning to say the ethical is being considered by how people around you view you. Is it um, about what you're doing is it right or wrong and of course in understanding further what ethical is you have to consider the common good okay so here are the best things for you to do in communication for the common good first respect audiences okay by the way how do we respect audiences when we communicate or when we speak okay first guys you should consider their background knowledge. You should consider their level of attainment in education. So, for example, whenever you're talking to someone who's, who has a lower educational attainment than you, you should not use words that are difficult to understand. Instead, use friendly words to the point that they can understand what you are saying and that makes communication effective. At the same time, if you're talking to a lot of audiences or a massive audience, make sure that there is a time for them to raise their questions and you should answer to the questions without being sidetracked, without leaving them hanging or leaving a question on their mind, okay? As much as possible, you should make a program, okay? You should make a system on how to accommodate your audiences. At the same time, you must prepare visual aids too in case that they need to see something. Okay, that's how you respect them because respect begets respect as a speaker. Alright, at the same time for the attitude delivery, you should like tell or deliver your words in a polite manner. Use magic words, okay? And uh, aside from that one, you should also try to be more, you know, like tender in speaking. Do not be too rude, do not feel so arrogant, and do not make them feel that you are more powerful than them, okay? Speak as if you are their friend. Speak as if they need help from you, okay? In that way, you will invoke respect to your audiences, okay? Alright, next up, consider the result of communication. Of course, during communication, there is this process you will be debating over and over again. And sometimes the result can be good. Okay, well, that's great if the result is good. But do not think that even if it's already good, you should stop from there. Okay, always think that there is a room for further improvement. So please assess yourself. Think, okay, what was lacking a while ago by the time I spoke to them? Or is there something I need to do further to make it better than what I did? Okay, so try to evaluate, try to think where your lapses are and what should you do better to make the communication finer and finer, okay? You are going to refine the communication. Well, not all the time the results are good because sometimes the results of communication are bad, okay? And always think, what can I do further again? What can I do further to make it better? So please, again, set up, set, set a lot of ideas. Try to think of the best possibilities. And from your mistakes, you should learn from it. Okay, it's okay to commit mistakes, guys, because we are human. And from mistakes, we learn a lot. Okay, 
yourself from your mistakes, transform your mistakes in, into strengths. Okay, so I guess those are the things that I am really lacking, actually. And then after that one, you try to improve yourself, try to make yourself better. And the next time around that you will perform or you will communicate with them, I'm sure it will go back to the best result. All right, so please do not lose hope. And again, remember, it's always okay to commit mistakes because from mistakes, we will learn. Okay? All right. Next. Guys, please, as much as possible, you should value the truth. Okay? I always believe in the saying that the truth will always set us free. So, as much as possible, speak the truth out. Do not be afraid of telling the truth because the truth, again, will set you free. Here is the deal, guys. I'd rather be, you know, like, I'd rather be hurt by the truth than to be comfortable with a lie. Promise. Alright, so please take it from me. <laughs> Alright, fourth. Use information correctly. Okay? If you're going to use the information correctly, guys, you will be able to, again, pull up a successful communication at the same time. It will lead to efficient results. However, if not used efficiently, guys, you will be spreading fake news okay have you watched the vlogs of doc adam i really appreciate that vlogger because he is speaking the truth he's using the medical information correctly and yes there are lots and lots of you know pseudo doctor vloggers who are telling some information that you should use this as a treatment of this particular disease when actually they what they are doing is not right okay so it's it's fake all right so please be responsible of that and also by the time that yeah the ACQ was implemented everyone was like oh you know what banana is one of the um, one of the fruits that will help you fight against COVID and people are buying now bananas oh my god <laughs> and then one day they said that the egg is also one of the you know like can help you fight against COVID and then everyone is buying egg <laughs> Okay, they're using information incorrectly. Okay, and as of the COVID guys, there are no vaccines yet that are available in the market. Okay, for that. So please stay safe. <laughs> All right, and of course guys, last but not the least, please do not falsify information. Guys, please do not alter anything. What, you know, if you already have the truth, please keep it and speak it up. Okay, do not hide it. Do not alter anything because you cannot r really get any benefits from changing the truth. It will only lead, again, as I, what I have mentioned, misunderstanding, quarrel, conflict, and worst, war. So as much as possible, guys, be responsible in communicating. That's why, guys, remember, again, the following five ethical considerations in communication. Respect the audiences. Consider the results of communication, value the truth, use information correctly, and of course, do not falsify the information. And before I will end this class, I'll leave you this quote. Communication is beautiful if used well. If not, it will consume us until nothing is left. Okay, thank you so much for listening, guys. <laughs> See you in my next video. You all have a great day. Bye for now.